The volume of a sphere is calculated by using this formula. V equals 4 thirds times pi times r cubed. In the formula, r represents the measure of the radius. Find the volume of a sphere of a sphere with a radius of 7.6 meters. I apologize for my slight cold. Okay, so I have a sphere. A sphere is a 3D circle. And the radius goes from here to here. So let's go ahead and write my problem. This is my radius. And the volume is how much stuff, whatever I'm um, putting in there, um, how much stuff I can put inside the ball. Hamsters run in spheres. You see them running around in their little balls. Okay, so I have B equals 4 thirds times pi times r cubed. I'm going to spread it out like that because I'm substituting. And it tells me that the radius is 7.6 centimeters. And R stands for radius. So that's where I'm going to plug in my radius. B equals 4 thirds times pi times, remember use parentheses, 7.6 cubed. Now what 7.6 cubed means is 7.6 times 7.6 times 7.6. To show you what I'm going to plug into my calculator, since I have a simple calculator, I'm going to plug in 4 times pi is 3.14 times 7.6 times 7.6 times 7.6. And then, since the 3 is in the numerator, I'm going to divide it by 3. And if you have a graphing calculator, you can put this all in parentheses. Okay, when I hit the equal sign, I have 5,513.53856. Don't forget, I need to divide it all by 3, so I'm going to do that right now. Divide by 3, and I get uh, 1,837.846. I'm going to go ahead and round it to the nearest hundredth. You're about to buy a new car. The sales associate offers you a simple interest loan to finance it. Simple interest is calculated using the formula I equals PRT, or P times R times T. In the formula, the P is the principal in dollars, or the original. your principal is your original amount you borrow, R is the annual interest rate, T is the time in years, and your annual interest rate is how much extra you're going to pay in interest. See, interest, you can't just pay back the original loan you bought. You have to pay them an extra amount of money called interest. Find the amount of interest you would pay for a two-year loan if the principal is $6,000 and the rate is 12%. So step one, I write my formula. My formula is I equals PRT, or P times R times T. My principal amount, now I'm going to plug in the numbers. For P, I borrowed $6,000, and I have a rate of 12%. And it is T, it's a two-year loan. So that's what I'm going to substitute. So I have $6,000 is the amount of the car. The rate is 12%, which I'm going to change over to a decimal. 
and you just move this percent sign over two times and the amount of time is two years and if you were to calculate that your interest on top of the six thousand dollars would be one thousand four hundred and forty dollars the next problem the boiling point of the metal zinc is 787 and 1 tenth Fahrenheit. Change the temper temperature to its equivalent on the Celsius scale. And the relationship between Celsius temperature and the Fahrenheit temperature is used in a formula. It is C equals 5 times Fahrenheit minus 32 divided by 9. So if the Fahrenheit is 787.1, that's what I'm going to substitute in for F. So C equals 5 times my Fahrenheit price is 787.1. I always put it inside parentheses. Minus 32 divided by 9. And I have to follow order of operations. Step 1. 787.1 minus 32. 787.1 minus 32. Gives you 755 and 7 tenths. Now I'm going to multiply it times 5. 3778.5. 3,778 and 5 tenths and then I'm going to divide that by 9 and that roughly gives me 419 or 420 degrees Celsius.